Holminster Switch is in the north of Lakeland, so you had best make haste with our preparations. In fact, meet me outside the Crystarium at the crossroads northwest of the Ancestor. Assess. Ascensor gate? Ascensor gate. And I shall lead you there myself. Normal word. Words are hard. Mm. I, I want to say it's like Accensor, but I don't think that's right. Yeah, it's a weird one. I'm sure I think it's going to say Excel, so. Yeah. Accensor? Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, Excel. Because <laughs> like Beyond Sensor, C E N S O R. Like, uh, that's that. I think it's Where outside. It is outside. Yeah, it's outside. Yeah. We gotta oh. hoof it. Who leaves this place? Ah, yeah, you just, you just go to the outside Us. gate. <laughs> and you're most of the way there. Yeah. Oh, it's a yep, hop yep. trap. You can't trick me. That's just an angry flower. Oh my Very god, we're flower. so slow. Yep. Pre speed boost is what? actually awful. Holy crap. Why? Uh, why is there a whole. Why is there a speed limit? Because <laughs> <laughs> you get a ticket otherwise. Unlocking flying is. No, if there was not a ticket. If there wasn't a speed limit, <laughs> I wouldn't get a ticket. Hold right. on, let me come get you. Right. Unlocking, unlocking flying fly is here. one thing, but why do they have unlockable fucking here. go good faster? <laughs> why do they do that? Ow. Why'd you throw a rock at me? Just I a couple of bros who can't fit their arms inside their vehicle because it's made for lame ass humans. <laughs> I like the little peace sign that I do. A little lazy, like underhand peace sign. Oh, I didn't mm. even notice that. Yeah, every time I'm in the front seat, he does that. It's just the front <clears throat> two fingers hanging down. Is it like an insult to people? Uh, maybe. One of these days, we're gonna have to uh, now convince purple. Actually, yeah, I think I think in 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 Europe, if you put your first two fingers up on the and your back of the hands facing your target, then it's like flipping them off. Uh, specifically, it's an English versus French thing. Because they Which had is to. The uh, French used to cut off the archer's fingers during the battle uh, when we were at war with each other, and so the English used to flip them off with those fingers, <laughs> saying, "We've still got our fingers." Yeah. I, I learned so, that yes. en entirely. I learned that entirely because they had to censor the cover to Left 4 Dead 2. Because mm -hmm. that's what oh, the cover really? of Left 4 Dead 2 is in in the U.S. and in England, they yeah. rotated the hand 180 degrees, so it's the front of the hand doing it like a peace sign. Because yeah. th if it's backwards, then it's a uh, it's flipping off. Yeah, specifically between the English and the French, that sign yeah. is offensive. They uh, they changed it. I love it. the idea that a hand symbol can be offensive. Well, yeah, I mean, anything what, uh, can as well. be. It's just language. <laughs> All language can yeah. do that. Yeah, but I meant like it, the, the idea that like doing something with your fingers can upset somebody. You're just sitting there and you're like, oh, look at this funny symbol I can make with my two fingers. And I'm like, I'm I'm incredibly mad now. It's like, oh. Well, yeah, yeah, this okay. one has a historic origin at least, whereas the yeah. middle finger, I don't even know why that's offensive. Well, here comes the comments. <laughs> I know you only got um, one. I'm looking forward to your essay comment section. <laughs> All right, let's talk. I know there, there's also different types of yep. quote unquote saluting that's also considered to be rude and or offensive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, the, if you, uh, so I think if you salute with both your hands, people get upset about that. You can't be like dual saluting um, <laughs> no it's it's um it's with the uh so the hand completely vertical with the palm facing the person you're saluting it's considered to be rude now just like it, it used to be a, what like the stop like just putting fucking your hand Andrew's up, like, version of an offensive salute is to do like like tn's solar flare no 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 so <laughs> yeah 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 that's super offensive don't do you know like, how, don't, don't salute like that to a troop it'll get you know really how you see like troops nowadays how they salute andrew like it's like it's the with their hand yeah like they put their hand next to their uh temple yeah and it's so like if you flip your hand like 45 if you flip degrees. your hand vertical and have with the palm facing towards the person you're saluting Wait. that's considered to be disrespectful so like, no, no, no. So, so like having like so, so you're your, doing fingers, like a high your fingers are still pointed somebody, at your like... head. Your, your fingers are still pointed at your head. What? 
<laughs> what? What? How? What? Wait, my what? palms facing them and my fingers are pointing at my head. How does that work? <laughs> what? And what are you? Do oh, crying out loud. Okay. I don't. I don't understand. Okay, the hold your arm. Is. Hold your arm out at a ninety degree angle from you, with your arm straight up or your forearm straight up. Okay. With your with your hand, completely your fingers completely extended, and now go ahead and bring your arm. Or your forearm, tilt it towards your head 45 degrees. Like this? Uh, your forearm, just your forearm, tilt it towards your head at 45 degrees. Like this? Oh my god. Not right? I'm watching you on your stream right now. Which one's the forearm? That's a bias. Tilt That's your right. forearm, as in from your elbow up towards your head. Why are you teaching people okay. to throw gang signs, Effie? <laughs> like that? There. Yes. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Hope everyone's enjoying our cultural exchange old... program. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the old salute? Didn't we that use is, That salute? used to be what the uh, what British soldiers would salute like, yes. The entire reason yeah. it's considered to be offensive now is during, I think it was either World War One or Two. Um, the queen or king was doing tours at the time and an engineer had his hands completely covered in grease and oil he saluted her she took it as an offense because okay. his hand was dirty because his hand was filthy with grease and oil and gunk yes isn't he working for the the I don't know. Yes. Why would you be upset that some, like one of your citizens is working and saluting you? Like, oh, it's the queen. Here's the salute. And the queen's like, oh my god, are you working? What a peasant. Don't salute me. Put your hand down, you fucking commoner. <laughs> like, what, what, well, what that's, are you upset about? <laughs> yeah, it's also bullshit because she actually worked during World War II in the factory, so... That's what I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably someone got he offended on her behalf. Like it's like, how dare you do that to the queen? <laughs> like her husband was upset? She yes, was probably because her husband was an asshole. <laughs> That's not true. Did you see what he looked like? Yes, a corpse. <sighs> anyway, can we... Can we well, now he... Now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, he looked like a corpse when he was still alive. Anyway. Everyone clicked in? Yep. Yep. All set. If we follow this road north, we will arrive at the northern staging point. The village itself lies not far beyond. Quickly now. Or you can stand there and talk about saluting for another half I was hour. Say, quickly start another podcast <laughs> so that we can then have one more line of dialogue and then drive to another place. Uh, I'm sorry, that was just kind of funny watching <laughs> Andrew just like flail I'm... about, try to figure out what the hell I was talking about. Well, I'm not. I don't go around saluting every day, so I don't know how to use my hand for that. Wow, yeah, Zev's, over, Zev's over here trying to make like a smooth move on Akalina right now. What is he? <laughs> I cut a oh, fish so and it was so this you're, you're... big. <laughs> now you're doing you're doing the like the beta thing. You're leaning sideways, and I'm standing straight up. So or sitting straight up. So you gotta you gotta. Keep yourself... <laughs> I just mean you're the leaning, the, the you're arm behind the other the other person like the theater. Yeah, but but you're on uh, a body anal body language analyst here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to lean more into me and then do that, and that's how you signify interest. It's Otherwise, I fear any any moment now, Zev is <laughs> just gonna reach forward and just grab that ponytail and just give it a yank. <laughs> I mean, I probably would just go flying out of the car, right? <laughs> <laughs> This guy's pretty fast. He doesn't even have a car. How's he getting over here so fast? He's the ex -arch. He can be anywhere he likes. Yeah. <laughs> Start booking it. He's like, <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh. Homens just witches past these gates and through the woods. It is not exactly a near neighborhood to the Crystarium, but as we occupy the same region, we have built up something of a cooperative relationship. What can we expect inside, Captain? Who was Lena? I think this I think was Andrew. Because Vieira. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't yeah. remember what her voice it was. I know she has like a Scottish voice, but whatever. The town is best uh, beset by a swarm unlike any we have seen in recent years. We did our best to evacuate the villagers, but as many as half remain. Judging by the number of eaters present, we have a good reason to believe that a light warden leads the attack. 
Oh my god. How convenient. It seems we'll have our chance to slay a warden sooner than we expected. <laughs> one does not simply <laughs> slay a warden. <laughs> Has no one told you what happens if you defeat one of those fiends? <laughs> <laughs> They hold more light inside <laughs> than all of the underlings put together. <laughs> it can be struck down, aye, but its essence won't dissipate like the weaker kind. Vile aether will below, uh, billow outwards and, and envelop the nearest <laughs> living being, a reckless young swordswoman perhaps, and then turn her into a brand new warden. Oh, well, that's just cheating. Ah, well, you can leave that particular quandary to us. I must ask that the gods stand down and allow us to engage this leader of Eaters alone. Concentrate on the survivors. We must save every life we can. Mm, mm, mm. But what if... Understood, my lord. As captain of the guard, however, I will not watch you brave such danger without an escort from our ranks. I insist that I go with you. I will in no way turn into one of those things that I just very clearly explained was happening. Gasp. Very well. Then a warden sling party shall include myself, the v Leveliers, Captain Lena, and last but not least, I'm staring at you. Placeholder name. The one who we cannot refer to as the Warrior of Light, or else people will freak out. <laughs> a formidable group indeed. Into Holminster we go. Once we reach the Light Warden, do not hold back. We struck to kill. Mm. A character we suspicious they can't name whenever we have voice acting. The instance dungeons encountered in subsequent oh. main scenario quests can be completed solo alongside us supporting a party of NPCs. Ew. To make use of this feature, simply speak with one of your NPC companions near the entrance to the instance and select the option to form a party, of which we will never do. Alternatively, Imagine you can people not up. having friends. Ha ha. He he Blah blah blah. Lots of explanation. Basically, wow. you can do things with NPCs, but uh, we're that, not going to. Uh, as far as that. Now that you say that, I'm bringing the Crystal X arc with us, so. Okay. It's bar Can eight. You? Okay. Let's Everybody ready? My, let's see what my new buttons huh? are. Oh, Currently, we have two tanks and two DPS. That would be a very poor party. <laughs> yes, it would. Would it? Um, yes. <laughs> yes, it indeed would. They're not self healing to eight tanks? <laughs> have you not that much started on I am. Uh, any healers <clears throat> get purple or no? I have a level 90 healer, but it's a scholar, so this is going to suck. You have your white mage, so it's 70. 70, not 71. Of course. All right, well, I guess I'm healing. Real. Mm. Or wait, no, I guess purple's healing. Mantle. Okay. I'm going to oh. suck, but Tactician. Right, I don't remember what any oh. of these buttons do. You don't need to. Buttons are useless. Just feel it out. I'll just blindly click it. It'll be like whack-a-mole. If it's Barrel the stabilizer, push it. yeah. If it glows, you push blaster, button. Yep. Flamethrower. All you need to know. Uh, I will. I put, if you're a DPS anyway. I put these on my bar in no particular order. <laughs> uh, You'll be fine. Well, probably. yeah. I could literally press random buttons and win. These aren't like a skill check. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, there are definitely. DPS. Not in the story. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Trials there are. Uh, you got so quiet. Are we, are we, are we? Yeah, it's because of the fact that I'm trying to adjust my seating position and mic position. Wow. Talk, talk about beta, beta, beta language. Leading away from the mic. <laughs> <laughs> What's this button do? <clears throat> Wait, where'd the bar? Oh, <laughs> the I forgot the bar. Ah, oh, the bar's not split the way I thought it was. That's annoying. Oh, well. I'm just going to press buttons at random. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, you can always fix it after this. Much bear stabbing. I know that old lady reference. Oh, my God. Chat's like, honey, you've got a big storm coming. Oh, no. That's that one funny old lady. The most weirdly calm threat. 
I only sort of know what these buttons are because they were in uh, PvP. Yes. That is a good yep. way to actually mm -hmm. learn a few things. Damn, this goes forever. Okay. That's what's oh, so confusing. No, the flamethrower I just activated. I don't know if that was invisible for you guys. Oh. It's probably uh, invisible. Yeah, I can't see any of the It's probably invisible for you because right it covers now. the entire fucking screen. Yeah, it continues until yeah. you move if memory serves. Uh, for like 10 seconds. Oh my god. <clears throat> or until 10 seconds run. Yeah. yeah. But otherwise, it applies a burning dot to the enemies that you hit with it. I suppose all to heal you. I, 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 I have def I've definitely hit the threshold where I have more buttons than I do place uh, things to press. Yeah. Or I have more. I have more abilities than I have buttons. There we go. <clears throat> We've hit that threshold in this mm -hmm. expansion, or at least with this class. The answer was so simple. I had four buttons. Ah ah ah. Also. Anybody uh, getting Dark Soul vibes out of my uh, "quote unquote" spear here? Uh, um, I mean, Dark Soul is, is a, a melee weapons. weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's more Bloodborne personally, but flamethrower. I'm just gonna stand the still for ten is, seconds. It's a giant spear with a mace on the end of it. Is this an effective damage source? Oh, look, I don't a giant know. mace with a spear sticking out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I even like visibly waving back and forth over and over again on people's screens or uh, animating? Yes. Yeah, you are doing. I'm just like flying. Yeah, I, I you are doing like kick like, flips while you run around. I just look like I'm. Well, well yeah, when I'm doing all of my attacks, I'm doing flips, but I'm like the flamethrower attack. Like, do I just look like I'm like <laughs> air guitaring since there's no fire yeah, coming out? You see, you pull out oh. the flamethrower, but there's no flames coming out of it. So I'm just air guitaring back oh and God, forth for, oh, forever. Yep. That's pretty good. If you're gonna die, at least die no being the air guitar guy. Yeah, Chad, if I'm, if I'm pressing any of my new buttons in the wrong room. order, it's because I didn't read any of them. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't fret. I know that I'm messing up, but yeah, just, also I'm literally know just pressing them every now and then. Right now. Like, check out this new That's guy. Like, can't stop me. I don't know how to read. <laughs> One, that's one of my favorite. Yeah, the, uh, old, I look at this point older memes. Is that fucking Labrador just kind of sitting in a capsule with a newspaper or something in front of him, and then he looks at the camera like, I can't fucking read. <laughs> but here's me air guitaring. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah I am, it, I am it, covering it, the entire it, fight it, with Flamethrower right now. It would be really annoying if you could see it <laughs> as a third yeah. party. It's less, it's less as of an air guitar and looks more like you're just gyrating the gun in front of you yeah. like you're holding onto the side of it and then just like kind of swaying it back and forth like you were uh hosing down something it's great these guys got kind of tanky didn't they oh yeah uh yeah they are a little tankier than i expected them to be honestly i'm glad you're not pulling more than this uh, though because these little guys really hurt yeah they do yeah, and since you're somewhat unfamiliar with healing, it's definitely oh. not a good idea oh. to pull more. Unfamiliar on this class with healing, anyway. Well, yes. If I was that's, on my white mage, this would be easy. Oh my god, yeah, you need to let your white mage up a little bit more, it seems. Yeah, or my astro, either one of those. Just not this class. Oh god. Oh god. I think this is the only good thing about it, is the point blank instant AoE. I feel like I probably need there. to figure out the setting to turn off uh, enemy names unless I press like a button to bring them up. <laughs> it can be a little bit much. I have so many AoE um, spans now. That's good. Ooh, plus time. AoE spans and are really useful. My original cone was so boring. Now I've got auto crossbow and flamethrower. Oh my god. Hey, friendly. He's friendly. Of... We're here to sell Girl Scout cookies. I don't know if she's what the specific mean, one. I think she might just be a type. Uh, uh. Don't have a particular name. Just not my cookie. type. Uh. Oh, where are you going? Wait, come back. Brazen Bull. Okay. Um, Let's see. Nope, not a great time. Oh, what do those do? Oh, oh my plaid. god! <laughs> That's what they do. At some point, Final Fantasy became about plaid. <laughs> Whoa, what's oh, happening? Uh, okay. 
We got this. We good. are actually getting somewhat difficult now. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're, they're just, just patterns. They're, they're just spectacle. Like comparison. It's just spectacle. We're like, huh? Comparison. For a second. Nothing, nothing is stronger than that first raid we did. That first dragon raid or whatever. Nidhogg? The, you know, the, the no, first like proper raid. raid. Oh, yeah. The one that, yeah. has, the one that had oh. no telegraphing. Yeah, the, no yes. telegraphing will always be harder in this game than any telegraph ever made. I can always Foils. deal with oh, any I telegraph. See. Yeah, Foils yeah. was... Ugh. Hey, more orbs. Oh. Yeah. Come to me. Thank you, back. I will not fight you there. Oh! oh. That's just rude. Okay, well, now back. I can't fight you there. He's either. so far away. Oh no, is it if yeah, I had a gun? There. She was too far away from my gun, I had to move. You need a longer, bar a longer barrel it's, on my gun. It was basically traumatic. Or the tank could just could t take my range into account. Uh. I could, I but also you wouldn't move. I could, but I won't. Here, Ever. now she's coming to you. Ah! <laughs> this is not an upgrade. <laughs> I'm adjusting as requested. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> More orbs because there wasn't enough already. Wow, what a baby. Oh, oh my a... god. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to that. Nope. Definitely got hit by that. The one place was very Durant. far away. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was a plan ahead kind of situation. <laughs> That's okay. Thankfully, she doesn't hit hard. Well, she's only the first boss. We've got two more after this, probably. Yeah, I think she comes back or something similar to her. I'm not going anywhere. Kill her. She's five percent. Look, everybody, stop GPSing. Hurry up and hurry up and die. <laughs> there we go. Good job. Do, do, do. <laughs> she just I dingle. Unceremoniously face plants. Yep. <laughs> Bleh. <laughs> I've achieved level. Hello. Hey. Wow, An you patch. can level in this game? Yeah. Apparently. It's very funny how it's just not a thing we can do Fringe. most of the game. Because we just instantly break Someone the level cap help. of every expansion, like in the first quest arc. No, and then it's like, oh, back come. to not leveling again. Yeah. Forgiven Deceit. Ew, why are oh, that's nice connected? of them. Switch gremlin. All right, this some gremlin some of us don't here. forgive. I never forget. But I do often forget. Can I make the flamethrower grip? That probably yeah. doesn't work. <laughs> the flamethrower flame right works here, right? Is that a weapon skill? I don't think so. I think my crit buff went away, so they can trigger it, but maybe only on the first tick. I doubt you can make the entire flamethrower attack crit <laughs> with yeah, the force crit. That's probably, that's pretty broken. <laughs> I wonder if people start still losing their mind of me playing with this camera style, or if they've just given up. Yes. <laughs> okay, there we go. Reasonable I mean, yeah, not work on the flamethrower or the bio, the bio blast. Your coffer. There That's a lot of cotton swabs I see out in the fields. Yes. Uh, those are all eggs. Um. Yes, I know they are. Yeah, but maybe they're good eggs, like uh, the kind you eat for breakfast. I wonder how big an omelette you could make out of one of these. Then. Um, think ostrich size. Uh, I mean, one an of ostrich. the ones are like the size of a bear. No, so no, I mean like the actual ostrich, omelets. not like the egg. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is significant larger than egg. That would take a long time to cook. No, if Depends you on how big it. of a cooking surface you have. Well, yeah, but I mean, it, even still, the amount of time it would take to heat up a very large surface like that would still be a lot longer than I would want to wait for food. Sheer glass, middle of the desert, he'll be fine. <laughs> I see no problems. I mean, hell, you can occasionally cook an egg on the sidewalk in like places like Texas or you know, New Mexico. Or yeah, but that's like, again, that's that Gross. is both uh, on the sidewalk, which is a regular size egg, but also already not edible. <laughs> Well, no, no, you take yeah, like an iron skillet or something, put it on the, uh... 
set it on the sidewalk. Well, that would, no, that would just, no, that's the thing, is that, like, the sun has to be sitting on the iron skillet all day. So I'd have to leave the skillet outside for, like, 24 hours almost. So it could get hot enough. I don't know about that. It's not worth it. Gross. I have seen someone actually cook an egg on the bonnet of a car before. Yeah. Who wants to eat a sidewalk egg? Yeah, that too. Yeah, I would not eat. I wouldn't. YouTuber, streamer. I don't recommend eating any food. Sidewalk egg is the name of my alternative punk band. Actually, I can think of a streamer type that would probably do it. Are you talking about? I mean, depends on how much money they would make off of it. Is really the answer. Probably one of the Logan brothers would do it. It's a very, it's oh, very it's like, made like early, a million dollars. Really cut Mr. Beast idea. Oh jeez. <laughs> I feel like Today I feel I'm like unfortunately Mr. Beast would be taking off the sidewalk. Most of the is it sidewalk eggs without oh, I accidentally interrupted wins. my thing. Damn it. <laughs> I thought Mr. Beast's whole shtick is he makes like videos at helping people, but yes, he does. with like money. So yes. wouldn't it be something like, I cooked 15 eggs on the street and I'm going to give them to homeless people now or something? Uh, like that more recently, I think it's video. things like making a big spectacle PR thing out of helping people. But it used to be like doing something incredibly tedious. Yeah, like curing a thousand people's blindness or something along those lines. Yeah, you know, before that, he was planting trees. Yep. Haha, uh -huh. well, I have to do the stage job because no one will do Wait, the stage is that... <laughs> Bro! Yeah. What? Yeah, that's yeah, Tesslene. Oh, it's Tesslene. Yeah, I thought it was. Yep. yep. There she is. Time to die, girl. Edward. Edward. Edward, <laughs> it hurts. She's all growed up. I think that's how she looked when she ran away the first time, though, right? Yep. Oh no, not the slow. Ow. Wow, she's like... What does that mean? What are the... Yeah, good question. That is a very good question. Hmm. Oh, she, the, which one she's gonna go hit? Yeah. She's doing smackies. Ah, you did no damage to me. Yeah, you don't want to be in the way of that. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we just spread out when she does that. <laughs> yep. I'm already circle strafing forever, so I'll be safe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nothing just to go ah, yes. Uh, you're trade. doing the same thing that I basically always do as a dancer. Yeah, you, I just hold. You, you, ever since I've become you a range. Don't want nope, to do that that's a stack, right isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, you, yeah, you had the stack on you, but this is the this is the downside of circle strafing. You do need to be no, close it's, to it's, the. It's the been team. a while. I blanked on what that symbol meant. Womp womp. Now I do reduced damage. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, that's fine. We don't even need damage. Not where we're going. Not where we're going. Oh my god. Yeah, for a lot of my time playing as ranged characters, I just I just hold down like diagonal backwards and just continually circle the enemy. It's a di wow, look how dynamic and interesting this boss fight looks when I move the whole time. Dude. It certainly makes healing you more difficult. <laughs> Do you have location-based healing? No, I have AoEs with a range and you're dancing on the other side of the r arena. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Who needs heals anyway? Well, usually I figure you don't um, want to stack because you can you... take group damage. Well, no, the, the AoE attacks that they've done so far are global. But I don't know, I don't, I don't know the individual fights. Oh my god. I just mean as a general default. Well, yeah, you don't want to stand on the same side of the tank, that's for sure, because a lot of these guys cleave. Yeah, the tanks are normally supposed to keep the bosses not directing at you, and that should usually yes. resolve the issue. Indeedly. Uh, hello? Hello, cat. Stop hitting everyone. You are so mean. I, I thought I'd just ask you to stop and you go and do that. Now you're just doing it on purpose. I mean, that is generally the idea for these things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. 
You know, I think this lady might be the bad guy. <laughs> no. Oh my God. <laughs> She's the bad guy. Goodbye. Now she's dead. We did it. We killed our friend. Finally. Bye. Poof. Um, she shattered like a Christmas pass, ornament. Pass. Oh my god. Alright, let's see. Not even one line of dialogue oh, about it. That We're just like, whatever, me. Tessling's dead. Got her. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. We recovered from that trauma quickly. <laughs> Yeah, no yep. matter what you do in this area, uh, you can only pull one group, uh, group at a time, so you don't need to worry about accidentally pulling multiple things here. Oh, I meant more of that, uh, the, uh, the cat sat on my uh, mouse, and so I was, like, running oh, oh, in a position I was not prepared <laughs> to run into. I had allotted myself a little bit more space than uh, the cat had given me. Die, cowardice. No, no enmity mini. Enmity. <laughs> enmity. Enmity, actually. Minity. Actually, did you just actually us? <laughs> I did just actually, no, you specifically. Andrew said it right the first time. Surprisingly. And, and Mendes? Damn! And Mendes. Going for Andrew. I mean, I don't think I... I don't think pronouncing words is even something you're supposed to do. Oh, we certainly don't manage. You do, like, morally <laughs> object to it. It's less fun when you follow it by the book. Words are words can be really silly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, after it's all, like, we're, we're gonna have to go poetry. back to you, you more later, right? Right, Andrew. <laughs> you mean you moron? Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite town. <laughs> exactly. Oh my goodness. That's so the much fun. AOE like, spam. You just there's so much. I am spamming AOE as well. We're like all AOE spamming. Yeah. Nope. He's not. Right, well, I ran oh, out. Wow. Thanks, Keith. Oh, because yeah, I've played machine I can you. I recognize when you're Yeah, it's when I start doing wacky flips. When you're not doing your job. <laughs> All my wacky <laughs> flips are single target. Yep. Oh. I don't know, single target doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Well Yes and no, but you really should be doing AoE ends the fight which... faster, but single target reduces the number of enemies faster, which is easier for the <sighs> healer if they yeah. as far as burst goes, but not for endurance. There are upsides and downsides. Okay, see. No, only upsides. Does my robot change targets when the current one dies? Yes. Yeah. It will. I wish attack, you looked cooler. I believe whenever or whatever you're targeting. It is the lamest summon I've ever seen in a video game. <laughs> oh, just wait until you hit ninety. The sad little propeller. Going. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even notice that it's doing anything, honestly. And all the noise. It doesn't sound much better than my damage over time, then. Interject. Yeah. No. Just wait until you hit don't like You'll, uh, power moves. You will change your mind very quickly. Oh, I you won't change your mind. Better. You won't even it remember. Gets better. Yay. <laughs> forgiven Clamor and Forgiven Cowardice. I don't forget either of you, honestly. <laughs> so. Forgiven by who? Not by me. I knowing that. <laughs> no, you can't make me. All right. What is in the treasure coffer? Can't. Or oh, shoes. Wait. I don't want those. Uh, oh, wait. I can. Oh, Daggers. Well. That's one. Never mind the screaming people running past. I've got loot to organize. Yeah, I mean, they're fine. We cleared that area. Yeah. They already made it. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> safe. Arrive at the main. If they reach us, they're safe ish. Uh, how does. Patsy. Does brick normally burn? I guess the wood. It gets hot enough, yes. 
Uh, I think that would hurt. It would hurt welcome to, to like to ask. Welcome once again to the artist's barely disguised fetish. Yeah, what? this is definitely. <laughs> this is the horniest monster I've seen in a while in this game. Those dreadlocks are chained. Got four. <clears throat> Those are chains. Literally got hands for feet. Are you kidding me? I, I mean, so do right, monkeys. Go. I think this know. person might like shoulders. No, 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 no. <laughs> monkeys have feet for feet. They just can use their feet like hands. This monster this somehow like 80% shoulders. <laughs> He's a pretty yoked monster, though. Ow, He's a face. good egg. Fucking red white. Yeah, you can see the veins on this egg. Oh, nope. wow, he clapped me. Yeah, he did. Oh, almost blew the uh, thingy. Um, um, get away from center. Yeah. He's a stumpy boy. I need help. Yeah. Help. I can't. Help. Help. You're in What's an happening? AOE. What are we supposed to do? Target the chains and get rid of them. I am. Yeah, you're supposed I'm to range. Break I don't need to run up. Go. Run, yeah. run, run, run. <laughs> so, uh, a chain based Ooh. enemy actually chains people up. Who saw that coming? Gasp. Oh, oh boy. Uh, something, something until that was a bit. Okay, you have to be ready for that one. Yep. Preemptively. So behind then, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, ah! one of the safest. Whoa! Oh my God, again. I'm surprised <laughs> I didn't make it out. That's weird. Oh my God. Oh, this gonna hurt. That sounds just... all right. It's a tank bus. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Can't block that. Ooh. Nope. This is a stack. Into right? the light, but mine stack. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my face. Oh, sorry. Let me turn him around. Turn Thank him you. around. Right now. Oh. That's a flare marker. Um, That's a rotation what? marker. That is a rotation, yes. Oh. Yeah, don't stand behind him either. Oh! Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, just gonna stay on something, the plane. Something on telegraph AOEs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this was fairly telegraphed. No, no, it's... Yeah, it was overly telegraphed. It was. <laughs> yeah, that was my bad. Too I much telegraphing. Go. Cool. Can you be done already? Yeah, so telegraphed, we forgot what we were no, looking it's fine. at. <laughs> I like this move. This is this is easy. Yeah, this we're not in any danger. I'm gonna get dizzy, though. Yeah, but how much damage do you have to heal? Right? You gotta practice your spin training by just spinning the entire fight. Oh. Ow. Oh, he's about to oh, find. Nope. Get, get. Wrong yep. side. Uh oh. Ow. Get on the other side now. Keith. You good. Made it. Speaking of Keith. Oh, someone's about yeah. to be chained. Who's gonna get chained? It's Keith. Rude. Let him out! Okay, let's go. Run! Five. That's the ability I've got to remap. This is my, three, my evasion ability. Two, one. I probably go. have. I forget, actually. You might have a like a backflip or something. Repelling shot. Something like that. A backflip? Look at these cool flips! <laughs> I'll try spinning. That's a cool trick. Uh, oh my god, it's Tony Hawks. Ah. You want to do, uh, anyone want to do a limit break? Let's oh, go! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Gun! I have two crossbows. Nice. You've seen one gun, but what if two gun? Oh my god. What is tapophobia? Is waterphobia? Dag is killing. Eh! It's like tap. tap Caprophobia? I don't know. Caprophobia? Fear of goats? Who knows? 
That's his entire body is covered in gills. He really is. I know this the she breathes through her skin. <laughs> it's the fear of small holes. Are we just naming oh, so random no, fears Chlorophobia, now? brontophobia. They all run in There's like, we were here too. Yay. Let's see, what was it? Um... Oh, he, well, he disappears weirdly quickly when you run up to him in first person. Weird. Grandma, what big strong hands you have. Oops. Oh, they have a gun in there. Ooh. What's it look like? Stupid? <laughs> Does it look stupid? Covering? I don't know what he... Does yeah, it transform? It doesn't look too bad. Like a weird bat wing gun. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very silly looking gun. Alright, All right. we go for well, cutscenes. Leave the doo-doo. It's releasing its ether. Fall back. We cannot let it touch us. Quickly, my lord, we must withdraw. Oh. Oh, no. That will not be necessary, Captain. Though I appreciate your concern. The eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, another has risen up in its place, born of the self-same ether relinquished by its predecessor. But now we have a way to contain that corruption. Uh, wait, me? What do the I do? Blessing of light. And the hero who wields it now stands before you. Looks like it just went into me. Behold, oh, the oh. monster's power is broken and the world, twisted by its touch, returns to its rightful form. Uh -huh. Oh my god, there are stars in the sky. The Aurora Borealis, this time of year. <laughs> we no kitchen. It was localized entirely in that kitchen. Yep. Yes. The burning Appreciate house. <laughs> First time in a hundred years that this place has seen night time. Like the like last those time are, LA those had are looking no lights the on, were joining. calling the police. Oh my God! There's there's lights in the sky. Help! Police! Shoot it down! Man, those are stars. Yeah, see, everyone's just confused. What is that? Oh my god. Well, these people have never seen stars. That's no excuse. You don't act like that when you see lights in the sky, all right? You clap, you give a thumbs up, and then you go back inside and do your job. Last time everyone stopped because of lights in the sky, they died. So... What? What did you call it? darkness has come. Wait, is this... Well, that's some severe clipping. Does this world not have a sun? <laughs> that was some unfortunate clipping to just center on the screen. They, they do that a lot, is that though. What I think it is? 
the night sky, as it should be. Who are you people? You killed a warden, then bathed in its ether as if it were a spring shower, and now the sky? The legends are true. Yeah. What did you tell these people? My lord? How many years have I waited for this moment? For the one possessed of her blessing? For you? You have vanquished the Light Warden of Lakeland, and for the first time in a century, darkness has returned to the mantle of night. Without the ever-present light to sustain them, the Sin Eaters will have no choice but to retreat. Yet our victory is far from complete. Though darkness has fallen here, the other Wardens yet bask beneath burning skies, feasting upon what little life remains. Even should it cost me all I have, I would see each and every one of them slain, that this world might be spared from oblivion. Not only for the first, but for the source as well. Save one, and we save the other. But, be that as it may, I concede it was wrong of me to summon you to this fight against your will. I swear on my life, I will one day atone for that deed, but for the present, I beg you, stay and see this fight to its conclusion. Cast down the Wardens and restore darkness to the first. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, there's a ghost uh, over there. No one, no one like panic, but I think I... <laughs> well, he stands out so much cold. right now, too. <laughs> Are we yeah. <laughs> altruistic, warrior A? Are we uh, thrill seeker B? Or are we begrudgingly C? Uh, I am always begrudgingly thinking, C. I'm, I'm thinking one. I'm thinking one. You want a yeah. one? Okay. I will become the warrior you need. Don't look behind you. <laughs> On behalf of the first, I offer you my deepest thanks. I understand there is much at stake here, Exar, but why do you risk yourself so readily? It must have been a dangerous drain on your ether to summon even one person across the rift. I do it for my people, of course. To give the Crystarium the tomorrow it deserves. That is true now, yes, but the city had yet to be built when you first called forth the Crystal Tower. I'm simply curious to know what prompted you to commit yourself so completely to this here. particular course. Uh, insanity? There are things which we can ill afford to lose. And I sensed from the first that I had a part to play in preserving them. <laughs> Forgive me. I fear the events of the day may have taken their toll. Despite appearances, I am an old man. One burdened with many difficult memories, some too painful to recall. Well then, I'm sorry for pressing you. It's a family failing, I'm afraid. <laughs> One which has served us well more often than not. Needless to say, we will continue to fight at your side until the last Sin Eater is defeated. Come then, my warriors of darkness. Let us gather the surviving villagers and make our way back to the Crystarium. It's interesting seeing the inversion of usual uh, iconography. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, darkness, thank God. We're saving yeah. the world. I quickly have justified my faith in you. 
So many lives saved, and this guy itself heralds your success. A single victory in the larger struggle, perhaps, but a monumentous one at that. More talking. Yay. Everyone ready? Yep. Yep. Now, as how is, as for how we proceed from here. In the middle of the rain. Which nobody seems to be acknowledging whatsoever. Must be really crappy when you can't tell when it's gonna rain because it just has these weird bright lights in the sky all the time and then it just suddenly <laughs> starts raining. You're like, oh, cool. Yeah. The villagers were, were evacuated earlier, have arrived safely in the Crystarium. Crystal Crystal Crystallium. No, they that's seem Crystarium. to be accepting their situation for the moment. No, I know. I I was just saying the joke of Crystal. Uh they seem to be accepting their situation for the moment. Most folk are too distracted by the sky to worry about wo uh, wounds or lost homes. Especially they the whisper and designs. wonder if the <laughs> they whisper and wonder if the warrior of darkness has come. It is to be expected. Hero, I must ask a favor of you. Would you be so kind as to conceal your involvement in this endeavor for the time being? Seeing the light recede from Lakeland is a mom momentous occasion, and many will be swept up in the maelstrom of excitement and confusion. Should you come forth as the legendary warrior of darkness, I fear that no matter how good your intentions, such an appear appearance would throw the city into disarray. I'm tripping over my tongue tonight. I find myself in agreement with the Exarch, although my concerns are more focused on Ulmore. It may be best if we, if you maintain a low profile until we can see how Voth responds to all this. My thanks. Though we cannot freely celebrate your success, pray allow your heart to be buoyed by the joy of our citizens, a joy you surely brought into being. Ah, and the Mars ask the same discretion of you, Captain. It is my intention to share with our people the tale of a great warrior who stood in defiance of the Sin Eaters. This unnamed champion defeated the Light Warden and has since departed for parts unknown. Yes? As you wish, my lord. Your pension for mystery is nothing new, and I will encourage folk not to question this either. Although I expect to be told the whole truth of it one day about all of you. Tough luck. With that settled, I shall return to the Crystarium and make an address with make to address the people. These explanations and adjustments will consume much of my time, so pray take the opportunity to rest and recover from your exploits. And you think you'll not even need to shutter the windows to enjoy a dark and peaceful night's sleep. Ha ha. Hi, that would actually be really nice. I'd be annoyed after some point. Oh, yeah. I must stay behind and coordinate the evacuation of the remaining survivors. And I hesitate to ask after all you've done here today, but could I ask you to pass on a message on your way to the pendants? Please let Braggy know that we are, we are bringing in a number of injured, and that any restoratives in the markets need to be reserved for the infirmary. Okay, I can make them. I can make a million of them. We should start making our way back to the Crystarium. Slowly, mind you. It wouldn't do to arrive too soon after the Exarch. I'm staying behind as well. I... There's something I need to check in on. Check on in home, mister. We already went through the village top to bottom, Alice. We should all take the chance to rest. You included. Nuh-uh. I knew one of those eaters. 
then I can't just... I can't rest. Not now. Didn't we already kill them? So, please. I wish to be left alone for a while. And that means you as well, hero. I shall be crossed if you try to follow me. Okay, we won't. I promise to find you later. And when I feel myself again. Okay, bye. Hmm. Just you and me then, shall we? Actually, just you. Let's I'm going to bed. Uh, go. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 thank you. I'm just going to go back to Close game and never Healing. log in again. <laughs> yeah. So I could unsubscribe or speak to Alpha now. Tough choice. <laughs> Sweaty man pushing buttons. Uh, where is it? Oh. Yeah. Well, the Crystarium seems relatively ordered, wouldn't you say? The Axarch's speech must have been reassuring to hear. On the contrary, there is something jubilant in the air. I have a feeling this night won't be as quite as peaceful as our hooded friend predicted. I think I shall take a brief stroll around town before retiring to my chambers. Once you've discharged your duty to Bragi, I suggest you do the same. Ew. Sleep well, hero. I hope untroubled dreams find you and Alice both. No. Knowing my luck, the warrior of darkness will come and visit me in my sleep. Introducing like a day-night cycle Finally. into the story is funny. I feel like that doesn't really come up. <clears throat> Off to the Mecca Universalis markets. Or Musica, rather. Hey, look, it's a rough car. Braggy. Oh my god. This was some it, it, sure Keith's. This is always Braggy. Yes. New characters. I. What can I do for you? Looking to buy a lantern? Like any other stumbling soul in the city? <laughs> nope. Bombs, lamp oil. I see. Well, Captain Lena can rest assured that any potions I spot coming in will be set aside for the wounded. Hang on a moment. If you're carrying messages for the guard, does that mean you were there too, then? The Battle of Holminster. Stalwart uh, lad no. like you might want to pay a visit to the Wandering Stairs, made, make himself known. I'm sure gl uh, <laughs> I'm sure Glynard can introduce you to some interesting opportunities. And now I go back over to the Aetherite Crystal and I'm like, oh wait, no I don't. Doom, doom, bow, 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 bow. Where are we going? Also, hey, you remember how you were talking about class quests? Uh-huh. Whoa! They're all here. Yep. Panning shot of basically nobody here. Yeah. Yep. Who got this drone footage? Was it the creepy oh, elf from nice earlier? It's a bar, I will say. Not a very space efficient. Well, no. The counter is so large. Like the counter, the table edge is so far from the inside of the rim, then there's relatively little space to actually stock drinks. Bye. Who's gonna Who Glenard these nuts? The he has a cross uh, on his head. Who wants to be this guy? I haven't done much in the way of talking yet. So I have uh, more beer for table two, and a couple of pints of mead for table three while you're at it. Coming right up. Sorry, we're rushed off our feet this evening, sir. Can I get you anything? Drinks around the house. Wait, you are? What? There's basically nobody here who drinks. So Speaking from experience, this top looks better when you rip its arms off. <laughs> mm. Oh, that braggy has a twisted sense of humor. <laughs> to think he'd send you to me at a time like this. 
The first real night in near a hundred years has folks all riled up and then some. What's more, there was that eater business at Holminster Switch. They say a light warden was destroyed without a damn trace. It was the warrior of darkness who did the deed. <laughs> Innocent smile. I really must apologize for Guy, uh, Gl Glyn Glynard? Glynard. Or Glynard. 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 Could be Glynard. He's been almost as rowdy as our customers, and that's no small feat. I don't care what his name is. We'll never meet this guy again. Damn. A lot of our regulars are bounty hunters, you see. They mostly go after eaters, and the rumor of the warrior's appearance was the spark to their kindling. You know how the weak eat, uh, how the weak eaters are drawn to the strong ones, yes? <laughs> Aye, they swarm like angry bees around a queen. You need look no further than Holminster for proof of that. But attacks on that scale don't happen very up uh, every day. Praise the blessed shadow. Now, uh, no, the more common threats are the strays. No one knows why, but every now and again an eater will leave the pack to prowl alone. Those are the ones you run into on the road if your luck is foul. Is, is foul. <clears throat> Goodness. They're a danger to everyone, so the settlement council puts bounties on their heads. And our bar here is a convenient place for hunters to gather and share information. Seems a few of them were inspired by the warden slaying even more than most. These are the types who have their sights set on the absolute worst of the strays. A class of eaters that have been dubbed the Cardinal Virtues. The Virtues showed up out of nowhere about three summers ago, and when historians heard the descriptions given by the survivors, well, apparently they share an appearance with the villains who caused the flood. And if that doesn't send a chill down your spine, they are also reported to be as tough as light wardens, not the kind of prey you can take down single-handed. Our Virtue Hunters had all but given up. But knowing the warrior of darkness is out there has lit a fire in their bellies. Just look at him. They're all on fire. <laughs> that Hume over there with the oversized sword is grandson. He's in it for revenge. He wants to recruit a comrade in arms as tenacious as he is. The Mist Mistel lad is Lou Rich. He will be fool. Uh, don't be fooled by those dewy cheeks. He's as hard a hunter as they come. He just lost a partner and seems to be on the lookout for a new one. Why do you sound like a dating show host? <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is, isn't it? That's Sir. Word is he seeks an ex expert in magecraft to help fight the virtue he's after. Last, we've got Get It. Dwarf and Drunkard both. Wanted to join forces with a healer and only a healer. Something about needing a mentor's wisdom? Ah, uh, yes. Mentor's he, wisdom? So as you are now introduced to... Uh, the Lollafells of this world are called dwarves. Oh, is that a Lollafell? That yep. is the Lollafell equivalent in the first, yes. Uh, have we no, not they are actually Lollafells. I've seen one Have, one have we not seen often. any other Lollafell around? Oh. Nope. Nope. That That's is the weird. first one we've seen. They're just little goobs. Pretty yeah, much. they're little goobs. I've seen my share of competent veterans, and you have to, uh, and you have that look about you. Maybe you should introduce yourself to one of the, our hunters. Who knows? Together, you might even collect the bounty of a cardinal virtue. Oh, there's a grand idea. Imagine the prestige my bar would earn if we boasted the patronage of a successful virtue hunter. How You're many other bars are there us. in this entire freaking world? We we know of two now. This one and the other one at the the, the shitty little bar. Of the barmaid who basically told us to go do things. Can you for her. do you even have like are, are like okay, this society is mostly collapsed. Do you even have the inventory to maintain a huge influx of customers? Would you be even be able to restock your goddamn product? Like um, how much room is left you, to make like alcohol in this world? You, you do realize there's literally a vineyard outside of the city, right? Is that enough to make a, make enough for everyone that's living right now to drink constantly? Um, well, there's a lot less of them now. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. He's like, I'm going to have the most popular bar in the land. It's like, well, that just means like everyone comes to your bar. Now you have to fight with every bar for restocking your inventory. Which, no, I don't want everybody here. I want like a moderate amount of people. 
Like, you mean the two bad whole bars thing. that we found so far? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that we found so far. We're going to find out there's like 15 bars in the next town. How much, how much <laughs> liquor do you think that freaking like luxurious there's only five, town consumes? There's only five regions on this entire continent that's that's safe to traverse. You leaked This is the Middle Ages. Kluge. Every continent is alcoholics. Giot. <laughs> Lurik. So anyway. did, you, did you catch that important information, Andrew? You've now got access no, to what? the roll quests. No, more important than that. The fact that we, we can't finish the story of this expansion without doing the obligatory roll quest for whoever. Uh, Everybody has to keep up with theirs or you can't finish the main story. I yep, pretty much. Wait, what? It, it, that's that what it true. said just now on the screen at the end of the oh. cut the cutscene. Oh, it's a good yep. thing I'm already done that. So just a reminder, Andrew, that you over the course of dust doing this expansion, you'll you'll have to do your your uh, your roll quest. We can't do it together because you're a tank and I'm a ranged DPS. Fine. Hello, manager of sweets. Sweet life of Jack and Co Zach and Cody. Jack Cody. That's a throwback. I never watched that show. How Welcome back, not? sir. So timeless. I wonder if anyone can sleep with the city in such an uproar, but will you do? But will you be retiring to your quarters? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very good. In light of the present situation, I shall have illumination prepared for your rooms. No need to rush to the markets for lanterns or candles. Have a pleasant rest, sir. What a novel oh, idea, sleeping I... in the dark. I wonder, what, I wonder what that's like. <laughs> Can't imagine. <laughs> I like the I like the idea that everyone built their homes around perpetual light. So they're like, oh my god, there's we don't have like natural light windows because they're. <laughs> why would you want that? It just we gotta get all these night sleep. lights so that we can sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! I think that was supposed to look like he pushed it open, but it looked like he used the force. Yeah. <laughs> It did look like he used the force. I thought that was pretty good. Like, are these like motion activated windows? Speaking of the force, force ghost. Oh, no, he's gonna push us out the window. So it's your lot's turn to be the warriors of darkness, is it? <laughs> it's funny how things work out. Bro, you can take the role. I want to go home. <laughs> these are my private quarters. <laughs> these are my <laughs> private quarters. <laughs> Oh, look at that awry face. Hi, I know. Just the place. Well, in case you've forgotten, you're the only one what? who can see me. If we had one of our little chats in public, people might start thinking you'd lost your wits. Haven't I? I had to deal with you after all. Those white-haired twins who are with you. I remember them from our battle in the source. Are they your friends then? Through thick and thin. Then I suggest you keep them close. It's when you charge ahead trying to save someone else that you end Clean up losing ass. those you love. <laughs> Not that you need telling, I'll bet you've lost plenty. But I wonder. I mean, he died with his axe like that. I don't think he's going to be able to it. probably just revert to its previous state. I don't Whose blood is even on it? That I learned regret wasn't worth the bother. You get numb to it all over the years. The lost comrades, the broken promises, the abandoned principles. Didn't he kill the warrior of light? Just more world? nagging burdens to ignore. Man. Not recently. Oh, no. But no, not in this world. He's dead. I mean, the warrior of light. What? When we left off, the he was fighting Alice. So I'm like, whose blood is that? That was when Alice hit her big combat moment. You. So this is what the light was hiding. Uh. Um. He's here. I must go to him. Oh no. They are a ninja. Meanwhile, in another place, cross town. Did she say uh, she is here or he is here? She. 
she is here. I must go to her. It said okay. keep on me for me. It's so they mean us. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, they mean us. Yeah, that's what I'm checking. I'm trying to see if they're right. referencing us or not. Intruders, fan Perfect. out and find them. You right, cracked Dennis. the code. <laughs> Oh, wait, the Garleans are still here too. Such a blurry angle. Uh oh, it's Sessinian. Out of my way! Oh, this is our world, I think. Yeah. We, do we see this guy so little. Oh my god. Stay your you weapon. We are not your enemy. Alarum. <laughs> When the alarm sounded, I wondered what we had done to betray our presence. But I see now we are not the only intruders. Sir Estinian, I presume. The dragoon who plucked the warrior of light from the jaws of death. Your armor is most distinct. Much as yours once was. But even without it, I see a former legator still has eyes and ears in unexpected places. Van Bailsa, in the flesh. Though I understand you prefer Shadow Hunter. Hmm. You are in contact with the Scions, I take it. Through no choice of my own. They tracked me down and conscripted me to their cause. Urethra? I swear huh. the receptionist was trained as a spy. Not that anyone can escape that Baldessian woman once she has caught the scent of Urethra. If they have resorted to using freelancers, I must assume their attempts to wake the afflicted have failed. And what of their champion? Away on another business. Thus, it has fallen to me to root out any trace of the Empire's new weapon. If it is Black Rose you seek, you are too late. My people have already completed your mission here. Yet this is but one factory among many. When they caught wind of our efforts, they built additional facilities to ensure production continues unabated. There will be no one left in the lands they conquer. No citizens to conscript. No skills to exploit. Nothing the Empire needs. And they will call it victory. What exactly does this Black Rose do? The gas is described as a poison, but its actual effect is more arcane in nature. It was created to disrupt the ether in living beings, to bring the flow of their life energies to a standstill. Inhaling even the tiniest amount will cause all bodily functions to cease, much as a potent venom will stop a man's heart. Released over a city, Black Rose could conceivably kill every inhabitant. That's convenient. And all without damaging a single structure. Search every corner! Rouse a barracks if you have to! I want this facility secured! I have more questions, but now is not the time. Sir Estinian, I have an offer for you, but I will make it only once. Since it would seem we seek the same answers, you are welcome to join us. Huh. From what I hear, you need all the help you can yeah. get. In case you don't know, Varys himself confessed that your empire was a creation of the Asians. Well, I am aware of what his radiance said at the parley. Thus, I would return to the capital, that I might behold the truth of this corruption with my own eyes. My path leads to Garlemald. Well, what do you think he's going to be? Uh-oh. Your town is made by Asians. 
I know you were, but I don't know why. <laughs> For me, it's I kind of a that. trip to like. So they bring back the Warrior of Darkness very abruptly, despite him not coming up for like probably two or three years in game, like in real time, because he's from Heavensward. Mm -hmm. And then Astinian's around, and like, of the, the, considering what characters are actually relevant to the plot and which things are we're calling back to, and how none of it's from Stormblood, it feels like we, we literally could have skipped the entire last expansion. Like, they're mm, like, it's like, eh, people maybe. don't like Stormblood very much. Uh, let's just pick up where Evansward left off. Fuck it. <laughs> and they just, like, made a sequel to Evansward where they ignored Stormblood. <laughs> the only thing that seems relevant is the fact that the, uh, the, the, the bad guy from A Realm Reborn is back. And he was reintroduced in the post patches of Sto Stormblood. That's, like, about it. <laughs> Otherwise, like, throw the entire expansion in the garbage. We're going back to Evansward. <clears throat> Ah, uh, beg your pardon, sir. But do you perchance intend to head outside? If so, I would strongly advise that you do not stray too far from the Castarium. Word has it Ulmore has dispatched its military to Lakeland, which is a stupid name. Given the timing, one can only assume they do not welcome the return of night. Even now, the Exarch is in the Ocular, deliber deliberating a response. If they aren't happy, it's not daylight all the time. Damn, son of others. Mm -hmm. It's too dark. Bring back the sun. The boogeyman's into my bed. He's gonna get me. Oh, yeah. Oh, the sun's back again. Well, yeah, there's still a day night cycle, but it's just not. Yeah, it would have been, 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 been very yeah. underwhelming if we, if we uh, brought back the sky during the, the day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, it really so, would. it's like it's normal. It's like bright but different. <laughs> it's <slightly> less. <laughs> Someone's like, oh, that's weird. Time of day you... changed. Yeah. You have come at a good time, as you may have heard. We have something of a quandary on our hands. Lax and Loft here in Lakeland. Yulmore has sent one of its airships. They have questions for us concerning the death of the Light Warden. Their emissary makes his way here even as we speak. I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. Indeed. It was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was how soon. That's soon. My lord, I am come with the Yule Moran emissary. May I show him in? A moment, Captain, if you would. Everyone, gather round. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. Vanish. Enter. Please. This, the only thing about this spell is just shut up. You successfully silenced Alpha now. Well, well. The commander of the Yulmoran army himself. To what do I owe the honor, General Ramjeet? Night Warden is dead, Exarch. Were your people responsible? 
You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I uh, address your question, you must allow me one of my own. What is Yulmore's interest in this? His benevolence, Lord Vorthry, is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and Sin Eater. Should it transpire that the Crystarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, my lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. I see. Since you have been so candid, I too shall speak my mind. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the night sky. If Yulmore considers this tantamount to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. The death of one or a thousand thousand Sin Eaters changes nothing. The world is dead, and writhe as we might, like maggots in its rotting course, it will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace may we live out our days in peace. But I waste my breath. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. In the meantime, you would do well to counsel any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon Yulmore's mercy promptly. One last matter. We are searching for a young artist and his assistant. Know you of whom I speak? An artist and his assistant? No. I cannot say I do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you? I bid you hand them over at once. My master is most eager to see them again. things, or did he just stare straight at us? I fear he did. The General is not a man to be trifled with. He is a warrior of fearsome repute who has led Yulmore's army since before Vorthry's time, when the nation still spearheaded the fight against the Sin Eaters. One does not command the world's mightiest army and for so long without possessing exceptional instincts. If you more chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. While we are grateful for your support, my lord, we cannot in good conscience put your people in harm's way. Tis noble of you to say, Master Alphano, but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Yulmore has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the Warrior of Darkness to them, they would find some other pretext upon which to invade. The people of the Crystarium know this only too well, which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight to the last man. 
If truth be told, I would not have been surprised had Ranjit declared war here and now. He's extra like that. He may have reason to delay. According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxon Loft were observed taking a prisoner. A young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle of Light, Minfilia. It may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmor before commencing hostilities. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. Um, how many Minfilias are we talking about here? One? Six? I'm sorry, generations well, of Minfilias? much to say and precious little time in which to say it. I think it best that you seek out Moren at the Cabinet of Curiosity. He will be able to enlighten you. Alphino, Alize, would you care to accompany your friend? You doubtless have insights of your own to offer on the matter. All right, though I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. In the meantime, I will set about making provisions for war. For war? For what is it good for? War. Good guy, y'all. You thought you were free from Minfilia, but she is internal. Apparently. She's seemingly. What did she doctor who herself through all of time and space? Like. Um, she's souffle I mean, girl. As an oracle, she might be able to do that, yeah. 